Hey what's up it's Hugo here and today I'm going to show you how to give your Mac desktop a minimalistic look. So what we're going to do in this video is change your menu bar and your dock and your dock icons as well. And uh, if you want to know how the final look looks like uh, you can watch a few of my recent videos here. I've used that same exact setup and I'll probably just pop up a little preview video to show you guys how it looks like. Now to start off what you're going to want to do is uh, change your dock from three dimensional to two dimensional. So you might not know that at the moment the default settings are that your dock is in uh, three dimensional and you're going to want to change that. So there's a few ways of changing this. Uh, first off you can download a preference panel which is called secrets which allows you to tweak tons of little system preferences that you might not have in your actual system preferences. And as you can see it has tons of options but we're going to look for dock. Just search for dock and you can choose between 3D glass and 2D black. So go ahead and choose 2D black and then hit quit this and then it should uh, do that. Now, If you do not want to do it this way uh, for some bizarre reason you can always do it through the terminal which a lot of people do not like because uh, it might seem like it's gonna harm your computer or it's gonna do something bad to you uh, but it might look something a little different like this but it's gonna look pretty similar like this uh, just go ahead and look in the spotlight for terminal it's by default on your Mac and uh, launch that up and uh, you should get a little window now in that little window you want to copy a certain uh, command that I'm going to put in the description and you can go ahead and just copy paste that in terminal. So as you can see it's going to say be sure that it says yes here and then kill all doc and then you just hit enter. It's going to reset your doc and it's not going to look weird like me. Uh, me it's just because I uh, play around with different stuff and then I forget to put them back and then I get those weird looking things. Uh, but uh, it should be a nice little two-dimensional dock into in a, a kind of black opacity or transparent half transparent background. Um, so that's how it officially looks. It's not supposed to look like this. So if it looks like this, that's not normal. Uh, if it looks good, then uh, it means it's all good. So it shouldn't look like me. Don't take an example on me. Uh, so that's for the dock. So we're off to a good start. Now the second uh, thing you want to go ahead and do is go in the description and download a little folder called Minimal. Now in Minimal you have quite a few things uh, which are not created by me. All these files are not by me. Uh, you can uh, they all have the authors credit into the thing. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is go in uh, double click Snowtunes and the DMG of that by Crystal Mac 24 by the way. Um, and you're going to go ahead and double click custom install. Now you want to go ahead and what you want to do, you want to of course install it. It's going to ask you some questions so go ahead and go for the Snowtunes HUD. Put in your password and then it has been installed successfully and it's going to actually ask you to log out. Now you can cancel this and uh, we're gonna it's going to ask you quite a few times to log out. Uh, although I do recommend you actually logging out uh, and it's going to just log back in and it's going to have to, it's going to change the menu bar you have on top and you'll see a little difference uh, on the top of your screen. So go ahead and log out and just watch go back to the video after that. Uh, so I'll be right back. So once you're logged in again uh, you can uh, see that a brand new menu bar appeared on the top of your desktop so it's this kind of dark grayish menu bar and the good thing about this one which I really like is that it's not totally black which uh, if it is totally black it kind of gets uh, annoying with the menu bar icons because you can't read them but right now because it's this grayish you can still read them very well um so yep so next up we're gonna um kind of try to get the dock a little cleaner and kind of remove the background of it so make it totally transparent at the moment as you normally you should have just a black um 2d dock and uh what we're gonna do is go back into the minimum folder double click mirage dock uh Mirage1.1.dmg, this will open up. Go inside the mounted image, go into extras, and go ahead and double click clean up. Then simply hit put in, insert your password. It's gonna relaunch your dock and all your applications are gonna pop up, that's normal. Just minimize them again. But uh, what you'll see have, uh, as you can see now, my dock is totally clear. At least there's no more backgrounds. The only thing that's still there are the little indicators and the separators. Now you can remove those separators if you want, like make them transparent as well. 
uh, then you'll have to install Mirage, so double, double click install Mirage. But um, to be honest, I think this looks pretty good. So uh, we're not going to go through the whole process of installing uh, Mirage, but uh, it's a great, great uh, little dock. So the next step is of actually changing your dock icons to the letter uh, icons. I'll just call them the text le uh, text icons. It's the most easy to, uh, to say, but um, as you can see, just imagine that this would be a default icon, Adobe After Effects, and you want to uh, all your applications to look like the other ones with uh, text on them. Now, uh, it's pretty simple to do. You can do it manually. So by going into the minimal the, um, folder that you downloaded, go into Jill Text, and these is ev this is everything you need for these icons. Now, um, I didn't again create these icons. Uh, full credit to Dr. Vox and uh, slash Arctic Transfuse and tons of other people that helped on this uh, to create these icons. Now you want to go into the geotext.pngs. Uh, so it's important that you take the .png and not the icon ones. And here you want to uh, you want to find the applications you're looking for. So for example, here I take change the After Effects icon just to show you. Now. Let's start off with After Effects. Go ahead and hold Command and click on After Effects. This will open it up in a new Finder window. Then select that same application. Hit Command I. It will pop up this window for the information. And right here you can change the icon. Now the way you want to do that is finding the same exact application into the geotext.pngs. So for example, in this case After Effects, double click on that. It will open it up in Preview. Command A to select everything, then Command C to uh, copy, then select this so you get a little blue highlight over it and hit Command V. This will paste the icon and uh, it will be applied. Now you have to log out and log in again to actually apply the icons itself because relaunching your dock does not always work. If you don't have that much applications in your dock, this can be probably the easiest way. Now, if you have got tons of applications that we want to change the icon from, I highly recommend you get Candy Bar. There's a free trial available, although the actual application itself is definitely paid. Uh, the way you want to actually import the icons into Candy Bar, it's pretty simple. Go to the uh, PNG folder of all the text icons. And in Candy Bar, hit the little plus, then call your new collection. So I'm just going to call it Jill Text. Uh, and go ahead and go back into the PNG folder, select all the icons and simply drag and drop. It's going to take a little minute and you'll see all the icons appearing. Then go to your Applications tab right here. And you want to change the icons of everything. So for example, again, I've got Adobe After Effects here. Now you can find the icon here at the bottom. So in this case, After Effects, drag and drop it right there. Apply the icons. It will ask you for your password. And then you'll be able to relaunch your dock as well. And it will apply the icons for you. Now you can do this all at the same time and just apply it in the end. It's probably way faster to do. But uh, I de definitely recommend Candy Bar if you're really going to change a lot of icons. But as you can see right here, my After Effects changed to the text icon. Now it works in both ways. It works in both ways, although I recommend you log out and log in before saying that it doesn't work because sometimes just relaunching the dock won't always uh, do the thing. Now, uh, that's it to actually change the icon. Go ahead and do that for all the icons. You can also do it for the stacks. It's exactly the same. Just change it for the uh, stacks. Uh, now, there will be a few icons or few applications that you might have in your dock that won't actually be uh, in this folder. If you have that problem, uh, the person that created this uh, pack included a dot Photoshop version of the icons. Now you can open this with, up with Photoshop. Just take the text tool, create your own icon, and you're good to go. Save it as a PNG. Be sure to save it as a PNG. And uh, you're good to go and create your own icons. It's pretty easy. The only bad thing about it is that you need Photoshop. So uh, once you got your, all your icons good and set up to go, uh, it's time to actually make this background of your doc so it makes it look more readable and uh, definitely much nicer. I'll go ahead and go back into the minimal folder that you downloaded, go into the Jill text folder and double click background.png which should open up that image in preview. And go ahead and open as well your uh, wallpaper that you downloaded it, wherever you downloaded it or you can even create it yourself, it doesn't really matter. So I've got my wallpaper here. So as you can see it has no nothing at the bottom. Now what you're going to want to do is put this at the bottom of here so it's going to look nice as a wa wallpaper. 
Now uh, it's pretty easy, just go on background up PNG, hit command A to select everything, command C to copy that, go to your um, wallpaper, by the way it's called Wolf Trace by DJ Central, I'll leave a link in the description for this wallpaper. And uh, once you're on that uh, window, you hit command V and it will automatically put it in on the bottom here. Now you want to drag it just a few pixels down, just like that. Uh, the reason why is because otherwise there's one little line that remains that doesn't look that good. Uh, so just drag it one pixel down and then here with the scaling arrows you can scale it up exactly on how high you want it. Now you can kind of estimate it with your background as you can see here. Um, if I can make this smaller. As you can see my, back, my dock kind of stops um, at the top of this cloud. I just take that as reference or something on, take something on your um, wallpaper as a reference and uh, then you can kind of uh, know where to um, to how high you have to uh, put up this bar. So the lower the nicer it's gonna look if it looks too uh, if you stretch it out too much it doesn't look that good either. So once you uh, put that uh, at the bottom of your wallpaper do uh, file save as and then save it wherever you want so I'll just call it um, custom wallpaper and I'll put it at the uh, best quality of JPEG so you always want a good quality for a wallpaper um, so yeah go ahead and save that on your desktop so I've got it right here custom wallpaper there you go and uh, as you can see it's just the same exact wallpaper except there's the bar at the bottom so go ahead and right click go to services and set as desktop picture so that might take just a few seconds to actually apply or you can just go do uh, that through system preferences it's also an option but as you can see uh, it finally it ends up like uh, this so a nice little minimalistic look with some text icons I think this looks really good uh, as long as you don't have too much dock icons it looks pretty good now uh, that's it for this video hopefully you kind of managed to follow the tutorial it was pretty tricky for me to make the tutorial as, as simple as possible when I f did this for the first time uh, it was way more complicated uh, but hopefully it worked out for you guys otherwise just leave a comment down below I'll try to answer all the problems and you can always contact me at contact at m4cbook.com through email if you have any questions I also have a website m4cbook.com you can post on the forums uh, if you have any problems for anything for your Mac you have a whole uh, help section there so go ahead and check that out if you want to but uh, anyway I'll thank you a lot for watching and I hope to see you guys next time peace